Hybrid prosthesis is the name used for a detachable denture. The hybrid prosthesis is similar to the total prosthesis in terms of looks, but the hybrid prosthesis is anchored on the teeth and implants. In the top picture, you see an upper jaw hybrid prosthesis from the perspective of the outside. Below, you see the prosthetic base. Clearly visible in our image are the incorporated holding elements called patris. The opposite element, called matris, can be attached to both a tooth and an implant. In the bottom picture, you can see two matrices in the upper jaw, attached to two implants in this case. In general, there is a distinction between two prosthetic methods, which are characterized depending on how the chewing motions are transmitted. If the chewing pressure is directed into your bone, the jaw, this is called a bone-supported prosthesis. If the chewing pressure is transmitted into your mucosa, these are called mucosa-supported prosthesis. Hybrid prosthesis can be both mucosa and bone-supported. As a general rule of thumb, a mucosa-supported prosthesis requires only two anchor elements per jaw. This significantly increases stability, and the need for a plastic palate in the upper jaw can be avoided. There are many taste receptors on the palate. Thus, this method can increase your quality of life considerably. The question of whether two or more anchor elements must be used depends on several factors, including your remaining teeth and the implant system. However, the hybrid prosthesis does not have to touch the mucosa. In this case, it is known as a bone-supported hybrid prosthesis. In a bone-supported hybrid prosthesis, the chewing energy is usually transmitted into the bone via implants. This concept requires at least four implants in the lower jaw, and at least six implants in the upper jaw. The advantage of this method is vastly improved chew quality. Biting into an apple is possible, for example, and you're spared from pressure spots and the underfeeding that can result. The only disadvantages are higher costs. In earlier days, steg-supported prosthesis were often used. Here you see a lower jaw with a fixated screwed-on steg sitting on four implants. The counter element is incorporated into the prosthesis and can be seen in the bottom picture. Because of contemporary connector elements, like conus connections, which are much cheaper, the expensive steg connection is rarely necessary anymore.